Welcome to another video, this time Mortal Kombat 11. That's where I've been trying to get competitive in Mortal Kombat 11. Of course, I'm still going to be bringing you guys UFC content, but for right now, I'm trying to work my way up to Demigod. So I've come across a Demigod that I'm playing and he's talking junk. So let's see how that plays out. I want to thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because later in the year, I'm going to be bringing you guys some very special content that I've been working on. Without further ado, let's get right into the fight. You suck. I'll be damned if I let you beat me. <laughs> That's a little clip of what happened in the middle of the match. I couldn't even get started out on my ascent to Demigod already talking jump. Man. All right, when you're fighting Scorpion, they like to start out with a rising cut. It's a quick 15 frames. You see, we both going for it. He ends up getting it first. But one thing that I'll talk about is the wake up. Just like everything else, a lot of the match that you're going to win starts out in the beginning. So we're fighting this demigod here, and I'm surprised that I've already made it. Um, now, what you're seeing right here is how I'm going to be censoring the grabs. And... You know YouTube and the monetization with Mortal Kombat is a lot around these grabs and this censoring. And this is how you're going to do it. A lot of YouTubers just don't want to censor. They just want to throw up video and then they get demonetized. Well, this is how you can get around that. Just cut the footage out and then you're good to go. Now, moving right along. Now, if opponent doesn't block, this is the mix up. If my opponent... If he stays blocking, then I'm going to continue grabbing. As soon as he lets off of that block, then I'm going to do my combo. And that's why I was able to get it off right here. So that's when I decided to initiate that 2-1-2 and get the crushing blow. So that's the mix-up. I like to jump in. And then I'm going to hit confirm my jump in. All right, now this is going to come down to the wire. I need to make some type of comeback. And I'm looking out. For his fatal blow and this is about the closest you can get to death I'm like not quite on a magic pistol but I'm right there and fortunately he couldn't get the simple string mix up and I got the first round the first game and now I'm face facing the demigod now this is going to be him coming in listen to what he's saying I'll be damned if I let you beat me. Wow, buddy. For real, bro. Yo, I'm sitting here just relaxing, playing, and he coming in saying that. I'm like, okay, let's see what you got. Of course, predictable. Starting out with the rising cut. So I'm able to punish that easy. And now my jump in attempt right there fell a little bit short. And that pretty much was like a common whip punish. Now he's trying to land that spear on me. And this is the thing here, man. He was pressuring me so that up three wake up attack was always able to push back his attack. Now, I started to bring out my spear a little bit more, my burning spear, because that does a lot of chip damage, even if they block it. Able to land that spear attack. And then go ahead and land your combo. That wasn't a full punish combo. And that's an edit right there. Crush and blow. You know that'll trigger the YouTube sensors. And I'm feeling pretty confident right now. There it is again. The, the wake up attack. He's not respecting that wake up attack. He's just pressuring me thinking that I'm not going to use that defensive meter. And I will use those defensive meters because you can't take them with you. All right, now he gets his crushing blow, goes off into his combo, but I'm able to fall out of that. He's trying to hit me with the anti-air. Now that's my jump in, hit confirm, didn't get it. Decided not to throw. Throw punish right there. I'm definitely going to get better at doing a full punish combo. In those type of situations. 
All right, I'm able to get the pop up in the corner. I get my combo off, making sure that I stay out of that corner. Please subscribe if you guys have not already. Appreciate the love and support. All right, my jump in, that was a mix up. I like to think that I'm gonna do it, make my opponent think that I'm gonna do a combo, uh, and then just follow up with the grab. Now, he finally was able to learn land his anti-air. Had to edit that out. Now, it's getting real close right here. And look at that, he ends up landing his fatal blow right when I had just almost a magic pixel. So this is when you gotta forget that last match and just go forward. We know that he's gonna do that rise and cut in the beginning. And then here's my cross up combo that I finally was able to land. He's in the corner, I'm trying to put pressure on him, but it doesn't happen. Now he's, he's mixing it up. Now look, I got my breakaway, so I ended up using that. So I have no defensive bars, so I need to be really careful right here. Didn't take advantage, but I got a grab. You suck. I'll be damned if I let you beat me. And see, I'm respecting his wake up, and that's why I was able to get yet another grab. I just didn't pressure him. You suck. Him. I'll be damned if I let you beat me. All right, it's coming down to the wire here. He's moving around trying to get me to teleport. Not going for it. Wait until I see him attacking. Now, here's the thing. He does a wake-up roll, and whenever you do this specific move with Scorpion, it's going to actually have hitboxes behind Scorpion. And so, in this case, trolling is definitely mandatory since... You suck. I'll be damned if I let you beat me. <laughs> yeah, so I think what people do is they look at records and then just determine that they're going to beat you. And I was definitely glad I got the best of that one. Now, as we make our ascent from Grandmaster to Master, I'm going to show you some highlights of some of the tough fights that I had going all the way up to Demigod. And um, I'm fighting a Garrus here. And one thing that you got to focus on with Garrus is his grabs. A lot of his grabs have crushing blows associated with him so you can lose a lot of power like really fast and so i'm looking to duck and i'm also looking to get off my combos here and land the crushing blows of my own and fortunately i was able to apply enough pressure on this garish right here and get that win so i got a 2-0 right there I definitely surprised and as you can see, we are at the far left-hand side of, of Grandmaster. Look at this guy. I don't know if he's trolling, he's playing around, but you must not know, buddy. This is the Combat League, and I am absolutely 100% serious. But look at that. Like he baited me into a grab. And just like I said, Garrus, you got to watch out for his grabs because, I mean, he'll run you for 50% before you know it. But again... He's really falling for a lot of the traps that I set up, especially after a poke. I like to back up and then go into Scorpion's low string. And there's another crushing blow. Have to watch out for that. And see, another crushing blow and you're out of there with Garrus that fast. <laughs> so, but one good thing is you only get one crushing blow per match so I don't have to worry about it now end up getting my crushing blow getting two of them however my crushing blow does not do near as enough damage now he ended up edging that one out uh, so he's starting out two to zip and I got my work cut out for me so I definitely have to watch out for these grabs because you know these crushing blows um are definitely something to deal with for whatever reason i ended up like applying my pressure there and we tied up one one and this is the last round everything on the line between me and this garris right here i think he lost focus but all i was doing was applying my pressure right here staying honest doing my strings i wasn't even really hitting 
my super long combos and tech throw right there and just doing the normal strings ended up getting that win plus 60 and so here we go again next match we playing a very strong sonya and whenever i'm playing sonya i like to block that string that she throws out high that can end up in like a 40 something percent damage right there and then trying to learn how to punish that instead of just trying to punish with a throw so trying to get better at that but then you got to watch out because she can mix up and go low but it doesn't do nearly as much damage as the one if you don't block high end up getting a fatal blow put on me right there and she takes that that round everything on the line right here again magic pixel and there it is able to get that All right, so the next match here, I'm up one. And look, I am down in the life lead. So now I'm just doing my mix-up strings. See if Sonya knows how to block all of them and then get in the grab for the win. So we trying to make a little run right here in Grandmaster on our way up to Demigod. You know, so... I'll just skip forward a little bit. We were just ranking up, ranking up, man. And look at this Cetrion right here. This one going to be a little funny. This Cetrion, I need to have a like a song come in like Hammer. Uh, you can't, what is it? Uh, Can't touch this. And uh, look at that. Quitality. Man, I bet that one's going to flag the YouTube sensor, but we going to see. All right, now, look at this guy. He has a rank up on the line um and so this was a very tough matchup right here because some of the grabs and some of the mix-ups you gotta watch out for when you're facing katana some of these grabs i had to censor out thinking youtube would hit those up And look here, we coming down to the wire. What's going to happen? Katana has a life lead. And then just that forward 3-4 is like one of the best moves that you can do with Scorpion. And look, we all the way here rank up. They going to give me 108 points if I just win this one match. Just win this match here. And I am a demigod. So it's time to sit up in my seat and see what's happening and then of course i'm gonna have to go through myself and all of the medicine that i've been dishing out i'm gonna have to take a piece of my own medicine and see if i can beat another scorpion so i can become a demigod here so definitely palms is sweaty another grab right there it's a very tough scorpion and I'm just getting hit with my own stuff. And I try not to go too fast whenever I'm fighting someone new. But you, in Mortal Kombat, you can't sit back on your block too much. And I'm still learning. Because if you sit back on your block too much, then you're just going to get chipped out. Especially when you're looking at a burning spear buff a Scorpion. And see how he did the burning spear right there. You really can't take too much of that. So I was able to get my crushing blow. And here, I'm pulling out the bigger combos, adding the kick in. Because I need to pull out the big damage. Everything's on the line right here. We trying to be a demigod. Show and prove. We only got a, had a day at the time to make it. So pulling out the biggest combos that I can. Require a little bit more timing on Scorpion. All right, so we won one in the first match of the set. And so here, we just waiting on somebody to make a mistake. And what we doing, and look, I made a read right there because he was doing that the whole match. 
And that's a piece of my medicine where you throw out that forward three and then you go for a grab. All you have to do is duck down, they whiff the grab, and then you whiff punish. Another crushing blow that I got right there. He's coming right back. And I get a grab of my own. This time I didn't go for the grab with the forward three, and that's the mix up. I went forward three four. He's thinking I'm a grab. He lets off the block and then he gets hit. And, and I'm telling you, with Scorpion, especially if you're new, that's one thing that you can do to be at least somewhat competitive. Just a nor just a straight mix up. Am I gonna do a forward three grab or I'm gonna do a forward three four? Your opponent has to guess either way. Um or if they do a tech throw, you know, that's when they're good. But just starting out, yeah, that's all it really takes. So look, I can tell right now he's serious, pulling out his best combos, 33% damage right there, got the buff. I'm doing my jump in. And man, he's bringing the pressure. So I'm going to have to figure out, look at there, make a read, duck down, Hit him with the crushing blow and that definite. And now I'm doing my mix up and I got to throw. And see, I just mixed it up right there. All I did was just mix it up between four, three, grab four, three, four. And if you guess right, then you're golden. So, uh, 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 like my man Katana Primes says on them combos. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> But yeah, look at that, still making that read. He is going for that grab a little too much. And to me, that tells me that he's nervous. He's not confident in his combos for some reason because he's just grabbing. And so I got the read on that. Every time that he goes for that grab, I'm just going to duck without blocking and then I'm going to get that punish. So, so we coming down to the wire right here. All I need to do is win one match. I got a huge life lead. I got to get better at those corner combos. And I'm trying to close it out right now by any means necessary. And look, once I get that block, I know it's all over. It's all she wrote. All I got to do is grab off of that counter. And that was a wrap. And there it is, man. I am a demigod. Now, yes, I'm very happy right here because this is my first time really playing competitive. Please leave a, a like and look, my man Rage quit. Couldn't even wait until the end of the match. I'm not, well, I did do a fatality. And there's the rank up right there. And we are a demigod. So I'm definitely happy about this because this is my first time playing Mortal Kombat really competitively. And this is all of the stuff that you get. And I love this. I hope they bring this to some other fighting games. Here are all of the skins that you get. Um, that you get unlocked and I'm so glad I unlocked the Aaron black one and also that scorpion mask that thing looks so sweet when you equip it and then look at all of those um time crystals and then and then those icons and those backgrounds they definitely reward you for playing combat league now this is my first time really playing Mortal Kombat competitively. I'm still learning, so I want you guys to get in that comment section and discuss different meta and strategies with Scorpion. And as I get better and evolve, I'll continue to get new players and upload quality content as I become a part of the Mortal Kombat community. Looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.